I don't know, maybe I just suck and can't win 100% of my games. As Komen is already saying he's going to drop. Well, that's not a very good effective strategy. It doesn't really help if you drop from the game. Oh, he's going to do the medevac drop. Well, okay, Komen, this just in, you can't drop medevacs. They are flying units. You can't actually drop them on anything. Zara here, however, he's got the plan. I'll make my plan when I see the enemy. This is, I'm, I swear I am not drunk enough to not talk about strategic elements of StarCraft II. It is a very good plan to not lock yourself into a specific build when you haven't scouted your opponent yet. So really what I'm trying to get at is you don't always want to go with one set build. You don't want to stick yourself to doing one plan. You want to start off with a plan and then adjust it as necessary to match and counter what your opponent is doing. So Zara actually has the very right idea as he is very much building two supply depots. So we do have the two supply depot rush down here and the bases. I just dropped my spoon on my desk. That was what that noise was. I'm incredibly sorry. I am so unprofessional. So, wait, is that Sarah? Okay, yeah, that is Sarah's buildings. As Protoss is up here, just throwing down pylons everywhere. I don't know what he's doing. Gateway time! As said is scouting around, trying to DPS down this gateway, but that is not going to really work out for him so well. So Zara's building his own gas, and he does have an orbital command a little bit before I would have normally have gotten it, but that's okay because he is Zara, and he is going to adjust as build I'm going to adjust this build. <laughs> oh, God, I fail. Um, okay, so Zara is going to adjust his build as the game requires him to do so. So, meanwhile, Koman, come on, he is rocking out the SCVs, rocking out the sporadically placed buildings. You got this depot and this barracks, and this, this one Marine who's just kind of chilling, making sure nobody comes into this giant green box. And... Oh, okay, Coleman, I'm going to be honest with you. If this is not the most randomly built wall, I don't know what is. Because, I mean, you can send units in here and they go, whoa, through the ramp. And, or not the ramp, but, you know, the, the little little curvy, wervy thing there. And they'll go, whoa, into your base. And then they'll go like, oh, hey, SCV is cool. And they'll DPS them down. So, whoa, Hatred thinks they're delay rushing or teching. Um, news at 11, incoming, a delayed rush is not a rush. So I just wanted to point that out, not to be a jerk, but that may just be the orange juice talking. I don't know, but that's not a rush. So Indy is getting his... Oh, please tell me that's not his first barracks. Okay, yeah. So Indy does have some Reapers, and he is not using them to rush, but rather he is using them to... Ru well, no, he is rushing the rocks. We have a rock rush here. We'll call this the RR build. The... Reaper Rock Rush build, the RRR build from Indy. So, Indy, congratulations. You are now famous for coining the RRR build. Let's call that the pirate build because it's got pirates in it. And, yeah, I like pirates. So, although I think ninjas would totally win. But that's okay because Indy does now have three Reapers DPSing the heck down out of the destructible rocks here as he continues to build with his R build and bunker and bunk bunker whatever i don't know as these guys are doing their own rock rush here so this is kind of like their way of rushing without actually ru i get it this is called okay okay this is a delayed rush it's when you rush something not necessarily your opponent but rather you just look for the nearest destructible object and you start beating on it mercilessly without thinking of whether or not it actually has some sort of in-game consequence or something. So, I think that's what it is, as this bunker is now full of Reapers. It is a Reaper Sausage Fest, as they just, they realized I was going to call it a Sausage Fest, and they evacuated very quickly. So they are going to run up here, check out the high yield, head over to the base. This is indeed the Delayed R build as we do have four Reapers coming over here. And I'm going to check out what's going on over here while the Reapers come in, as we do have four barracks, three tech labs, four tech labs, and an engineering bay and a 
So this guy is building like one of, okay, well, four barracks and then one of everything else. So, yeah, I don't know really what he's doing because these Reapers are going to come in and they're going to check out the zone. I got Watchtower and, oh, that was the climax of the game. Okay, we're done. Oh, okay, I guess they're going to sit here for a little bit. So we'll probably have to wait and see what they're going to do. As Protoss does have three gateways and a cybernetics core researching the warp gate technology and robotics facility and robotics busy, uh, ro robotics busy as Snoop Dogg would say. As these Reapers are going to come in here and start killing the SCVs, get a good cutting or good range position on this depot while completely ignoring the one Marine who is attacking them. So far, one of them has died, and he is going to retreat down there to co the cover of said Marines, which are going to actually use some slightly competent micromanagement and kite these um, kite these zealot thingies around. That's about whoa, Raven alert! That is a Raven. Zura, Zara has a raven and a whole boatload of roaches there. I just want to point out that I actually haven't checked Zerg's base. I'm a terrible person. I did not see those roaches coming. But Zara is making more ravens, so we're going to do a big old raven play here. As this one marauder is going to try to hold off the horde of people, but uh, that's not going to really work out too him for him. <laughs> So these roaches are going to chase these stalkers and more raven play we see here. Stalkers are using the buildings to his advantage. I don't know what sex these guys are, but they are going to use the buildings to their advantage for a while there. Instead, I think actually they're just going to stand there and die like retards. So anyways, these marines and marauders are going to come in and try to do a little bit of damage to killers with a lowercase z as the probes come out to fight. Wow, they're just getting everybody involved in this fight here, as this is an intense game indeed, as we already have another pylon being rebuilt after the intense attack by the bottom right team, which we will call Team Pancake. This is Team Pancake versus Team Sausage. So, Pancake versus Sausage here. As Team Sausage, I'm... I, I'm going to forget these names like 30 seconds from now, so I'm not even going to try to remember. But we do have a Sausage <laughs> expansion here. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Sausage expansion here <laughs> in the natural natural base. And Okay, I'm just going to calm down for a second because it'll be giggling the whole time. Okay, you know a video is not edited <laughs> when... Um, yeah, you hear you hear stuff like this. So anyways, I do see that Terran down here said has five barracks, four tech labs, and one reactor with a whole bunch of marauders. And the ghost. Ghost is here. That's not even what they sound like at all. But SCVs are running out. What are, what are you doing? I don't even know. Okay, look, I'm drunk, and I wouldn't have even done that. I, I, I would not have because those mules, there's three mules and you just wasted like 10 seconds straight on these on these mule timers or whatever. So anyways, I'm waving my, ha my hand around like an incompetent buffoon as he is getting banshees and Thors. Thors aren't really the best anti-air unit to get, especially if you're playing against a competent player. However, you can see that the dropship is indeed directly countered by the Banshees, apparently, that Indy ha has sent to counter this one dropship, which has a Marine. And he's dropping it nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen. This guy has balls the size of Alaska, as he is going to actually get them exploded by three Banshees. Two ban you didn't even three you didn't even send all three banshees. What the heck's up with that man? Come on. God. Uh, these players. I uh grow the lower league replays. I don't even actually know what league this one is. This is it. I'm sorry, I think it's Kira Zera that sent me in this replay. So I just wanna say thank you for sending me in these replays as I don't really have any good games that are playable right now. I was very surprised by the fact that the TLO game did not lag. It lagged last night when I watched it. It may just be because of the fact that I'm not really paying attention right now. That this one is not working. And what time is it? I don't think it's well raid time yet. No, it's not. So I'm just going to keep on yammering away. See, I'm actually, I think I've said this before, I play WoW. 
and I, oh my god, that one's even stronger than the first. <laughs> oh god. So anyways, I am in a raiding guild, and we raid Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8.30 to 12, but all we have left is nothing. So I think we're actually going to just go clear Nax in some sort of a mortal run or in dying or whatever. I don't know what it is, but Hatra says we gotta go soon. So I'm just gonna assume that he's gotta go soon, whether it is to the bathroom or to the massive amount of ravens that Zara has here. I'll tell you what, man. Anybody that can pull off a build using what I call the spellcasters in StarCraft 2, mucho props to you, because that is an exemplary performance of skill, creativity, and random camera placement on my part. So, Hatred, I guess, is going to go for the bunker drop push, and uh, I don't really know what's going to go on drop bunkers. Yeah, uh, Hatred, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but those actually aren't bunkers. Uh, this is the supply depot. It is the food equivalent for the Terran player. Kind of like your pylon, as there's a lot of units here that are fighting. I probably should pay attention to that. As those roaches are going to get zapped by the zealots, which are going to charge headfirst into a battle they are woefully unequipped for because they are not invincible. And so that little hunter-seeker missile did indeed kill that one viking. That was actually pretty cool to watch, I'm not going to lie. So these vikings are going to trounce all over the colossus. Oh, excuse me, I'm very sorry for that noise. I am such an unprofessional StarCraft II caster. As we take a look at these Banshees, and they're heading on back to base. Gonna do a little repairs of the SCVs. There's a lot of SCVs here, man. Let's see if I can click on them. Those, are, those aren't SCVs. Those are tanks. No, no, tanks. SCVs. Hey, there we go. There's, there's a lot of SCVs there. I think 11 or something like that. So, they're gonna hide in the bushes. Nobody will notice we'd hear. I don't know what voice that was. I think it was actually from Generals, you know, like... If you've ever played Command & Conquer Generals, there's a hacker, and he says, like, nobody will notice the money is missing. And then, you know, it sounds really goofy, and then he hacks, like, $4 at a... F no, $5 at a time, and then $6 at a time, and then ten dollars at a time he brings in like ten bucks every five seconds i mean how cool is that it's it's like the dream job man you get parked in the middle of a field and you start bringing in ten bucks every five seconds or whatever so anyways that expansion was that expansion i wasn't even paying attention something there that just died and there's another conflict as more ravens are trying whoa giant ball of explosive and Explosivity is another one. Raven Seeker Missile is going to come here and kill all of the Banshees. Oh, that was beautiful. I think I'm going to cry a little. These SCVs are repairing all the wrong units. You're repairing the siege tank up to full. Okay. This is going to be my little tip corner of the game. And I'm going to pause it for a second. And rewind just a little bit. Okay. If you've got... Oh, that was beautiful. I just had to see. Why do those things fly up? I don't get it. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to show you here. If you see lots of lasers coming at you, and you've got a lot of SCVs, repair the thing that's being attacked. Don't sit in the back and repair the tank. If you've got a whole bunch of stuff that's taking damage, you repair it first. You want to repair the thing that is constantly taking damage at the present, rather than worrying about the half-pooped siege tank in the back. Because that siege tank isn't going to take any more damage because it's in the back. However, that...